Good morning, BHS. I'm Lydia Fielder. And I'm Mary Bowman Cooper. These are your Thursday morning announcements. Throughout this month, the library will be closed during all three lunches due to PARCC testing. It will be open for students to return and check out material between classes. Anyone interested in auditioning for the next year's Color Guard should attend the meeting today at 7 p.m. in the band hall. Be sure to sign up for the April 18th ACT by tomorrow in order to avoid paying a late fee. Online applications for community scholarships are due by 11.59 p.m. on March 19th. BHSPTO is hosting an after prom spirit night on March 16th at Barriola's Pizzeria from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mention BHSPTO at the event and 15% of the sales from your visit will go toward after prom expenses. There will be an NHS meeting at 11 o'clock in the AAC on Tuesday, March 17th. Stop by the PTO table during lunch tomorrow to get your thumbnails painted red as a reminder to not text and drive in honor of hashtag no text red week. Congratulations to the team of Jacob Lakota, Sabrina Shepard, and Tegan Shepard for winning first place at the U of A high school programming contest on Saturday. Be sure to attend the Northwest Arkansas Bulls men's lacrosse game tomorrow at 6 o'clock at the BHS football stadium. The Bentonville Drumline will be hosting a barbecue dinner tonight at 6.30. Events at the dinner will include a silent auction and an indoor percussion show. That's all we have for you today, Bentonville. Have a great day. Hello, BHS. I'm Landon Norman. And I'm Mackenzie Springer. We'd like to say a big congratulations to our girls and boys swim and dive teams for winning their state championships. Great job. Congratulations to our wrestling team for winning fifth in the state tournament. That's it for today. Have a great day, BHS. Now trending, in collaboration with the upcoming visit of Mary Beth Tinker, who is a free speech advocate in the monumental Supreme Court case, Tinker versus Des Moines, Bentonville High School is having an essay contest. The contest is open to all students and the first place winner will receive $100. The essay explores First Amendment rights in our digital age of social media. Freedom of speech in social media is a widely debated issue in today's society. In 140 words or less, make an argument that defends, challenges, or qualifies the right to freedom of speech in social media. Create a unique hashtag to add to your essay. The deadline is Friday, April 3rd at 4 p.m. Email submissions to Mr. Puckett at the link below. Just like planking, Rebecca Black, Temple Run, the dress gate and escaped llamas, you too could have your 15 minutes of fame. Raise your voice and send in your essay.